using this bra on my everything for weeks. And when I say everything, I'm talking about my Instagram ads, my Facebook ads, TikTok, I mean everywhere. And every time I see it, it reminds me of another bra. And finally, I put it together because I just couldn't figure it out. But I finally figured it out. And that bra is this one from Skims. So if you guys are interested in seeing the comparison, then make sure that you stay tuned. I'm Brit Brett, your review queen, and I like to spend my money so you don't have to. And if you like to save your coin, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'm giving you time right now to do so. You're welcome for that time to subscribe. I have the two bras in my hand. This is the Harper Wild one, this is the Bliss, and this is the Skims one. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely hate bras now. Like, to be honest, I don't even have one on right now. <laughs> I'm so immature, I'm about to be 36 years old and I'm still laughing at that. But for some reason, I find it so funny. I'm literally swinging under here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but these two look pretty comfy, so I thought I would give it a chance. Um, first and foremost, for starters, look at the packaging. Huge difference already, right? Like, how come I have this big ass box? Kim, what are we doing here? But here's Harper Wild. As you can see, they definitely care about saving the environment and not doing too much. Skims usually is pretty good at like recyclable stuff and not using any plastic steak and all that whatnot. I'll put the Harper Wild down and I'm actually pretty excited about that because this is like my first time ever getting anything from that company. I have hearing that they're pretty popular but I have never owned anything from there. Here we go. So we've got our you know infamous Skims box. Got the receipt and I'm trying to remember what this bra is actually even called. I keep just saying the Skims bra but with Harper Wild I keep saying the Bliss bra because I actually know what that is. This is the Naked Plunge Tank Bra and I got it in the color Umber in an extra large. So I did get both of these in an extra large, the Harper Wild one as well because that's usually what I get as a bralette. Not the actual like real bras with underwire and whatnot. Those I'm usually a 38 double D. So yeah, here is how it's looking. Now we're caring about the environment. I'm feeling you, Skims. Look at how gorgeous this is. And I did try to get a very similar color for the Harper Wild one, so we weren't, you know, lacking in colors. This is so nice. I'm, I definitely see myself wearing this all the time. I am noticing, though, that it does have, like, padding in it. Do you guys see that? And, oh, yeah, you can take it out. It does have the little pieces. Another thing about me, you guys know, is I typically hate pads in any type of bralette or bra because I don't need it. I just feel like it makes things even more pushed up. It has absolutely no adjustment, anything to it. The back is just very nice and just smooth. It looks like it would smooth you out. So this is the Naked Plunge Tank Bra, and I'm going to go ahead and open the Harper Wild one up. I was going to cut out opening it, but look at how pretty this packaging is. Look at that. I got an envelope. Already, I am so impressed, Harper Wild. So it just has, like, all the basics, but never basic. That's a really cute slogan. It has my receipt. Let's just say that it's the Bliss Bra. I got it in brown. I tried to get as close of a color as the Skims one as possible. Bag, it looks as if, what can you do with this? It's a recyclable bag. I am made of corn, I'm 100% home compostable. So that's nice. If you're not recycling with us, I'll break down within 180 days. Please compost me. So you can put an old bra in here and send it back to them so you're not like just throwing it away. I think that is already like, this one is a little bit more just structured when it comes to the way that's made. Like I feel, like it's more of a band right here for support. It's not as just smoothing, if that makes any sense. Um, it does have the little Harper Wild, I guess. That's their tag right there. The back has a little information on it. So that's how you can tell that it is the back. The front and the back are about the same amount of plunge. So make sure you pay attention to where the little information is. Again, there's absolutely no underwire. There is no um, any type of adjustable straps or anything like that. So it's just purely smooth. Like I said, it does have more of a band to it. So here is the Harper Wild bra and here is the Skims bra. Let me see if I can like, can you guys see that? Right? No pads, pads. You can take out the pads, but it still has like a form to it. I'm gonna go ahead and try these on you guys and we can really do the comparison from there. All right, you guys, so here is the Skims bra. Um, As you can see already, I have to take these pads out because just putting it on, like they already just completely like fold it, if that makes any sense. That's another reason I really, really hate pads. Support a bra it is way more structured and supportive than I thought it was, Um, just off 
not on you know what I mean like I didn't realize that it was going to be so nice fitting because it felt like really loose because it has absolutely nothing to it well, second skin ever skin skims am I am I going somewhere with that <laughs> right here I didn't even realize this when I was showing it to you guys off but it says skims right here and it's a little lifted it feels rubbery because the Harper Wild has the tag so you know, I didn't think this had any branding, but it's very discreet. It does have its branding. You know, Kim's always going to make sure she has that. Here's the back. Very smoothing. In the bounce test, I do feel very supported in this bra. Like, I'm not about to go purposely run a marathon or, you know, go to the gym and do jumping jacks in it. But I do feel like throughout the day, if I had to walk briskly real quick or anything like that, like I feel like I will be fine without spilling out. Let's go try on the Harper Wild Bliss. So I'm back and here is the Harper Wild Bliss. I will for sure say that I am so glad I recognize that these bras look identical. These have probably been the most comparable bras that I have like dealt with in such a long time. Like this honestly is really not too much of a difference than the skims bra i will say compared to the skims that this one was a little bit easier to put on because it didn't have the pads so i didn't have to worry about trying to you know mess up the form of those it's just so seamless and perfect i love it it's so comfortable you guys they both are so comfortable with comfort i will definitely say that they are very very much alike this one feels a little bit tighter um, for size wise, they're both extra large. This one does feel a lot more supportive and a lot less material, if that makes any sense. Once again, straps are not digging in. It's got a very discreet support band. The back, I will say it feels like it's lifted a little bit more. It's not staying as flat. Like that, you know what I mean? Like it's not staying down as much as the Skims bra was. And I will make sure that I do a side by side so you guys can see both of them on together. I also forgot to mention that this passes the bounce test as well. I can move around in here and just take over the day. All right guys, so that is the end of our comparison. This is the Naked Plunge Skims bra and this is the Bliss by Harper Wild. I still kept this on just for the mere fact that it's comfortable. They're both so comfortable. I have to be honest with you guys, is like these are both so comparable that it is not even funny like if you take the pads out of your skims plunge it's literally like the same identical bra the only difference is that obviously they have when you do take the pads out in the skims bra you can see it still has that um padded shape right there now if you were to take a look at the straps compared to each other the skims bra is way thicker than the hyper wild one by just a little bit but this one is a little bit thicker and obviously you can see that the band on the hyper wild bliss is a lot more there those would be the three major differences that i find with this bra but yes they're both pretty much made the same way obviously when you are working with skims you're going to be able to have more of a better color selection but if you don't care about stuff like that like i would definitely recommend they're both so lovely though so yes if i have to recommend getting one just solely on affordability and for actually being able to pick it up i would definitely recommend the harper wild over the skims plunge because things sell out on skims so quickly as well as this is so much more hefty of a price label for you if i missed something didn't hit something let me know in the comments below or if there's anything else that you guys have questions on that i can help you with please let me know because that's what i'm here for i love you guys very much again make sure you guys subscribe and join the brat fam because we have such a great time over here i'll well, we'll be talking to you guys again very soon with another video Mwah! love you from now on our troubles will be miles away